and welcome back to my channel my name is Castellin if you're new and if you're not welcome back to another hair video and today I'm going to be trying out Brazilian wool for the very first time I got this five pack from Amazon and it came along with a crochet needle I also thought I was going to be needing the brush and the comb but that turned out not to be the case and I will show you why shortly so this is what the hair looks like fresh out of the pack I did not know what to expect when I thought of Brazilian wool and one thing I definitely did not expect was that the fiber was this long i mean it's just a continuous loop on itself sort of looks like yarn so this is the point i was just realizing wait this thing is continuous so i started making a loop a big loop uh, that is approximately the length of the hair that i wanted to end up with and i just kept turning the loop until i had used up all the yarn that came in one single roll So once I had the entire roll in a big loop, I just took a pair of scissors and cut off one end of the loop and that was supposed to be the length of hair that I was going to use. However, I did not use this particular roll of the Brazilian wool. I had to toss it because I had watched a video on YouTube of someone preparing the Brazilian wool to use and they brushed it out. And when I tried brushing it out, it was just getting tangled on the paddle brush. So I had to toss this particular piece and go back to the drawing board. One thing I noticed as I was undoing the roll was that the hair was already pre-separated. I keep calling it hair, but you know what I mean. I noticed this individual strands and I decided to take advantage of that. I just separated the wool into chunks and twisted them out on a string and I was going to curl them because I noticed the texture was there but it was not a defined texture so I wanted to make it into curls. And the remaining four rolls that I had I just ended up twisting the chunks and then securing the ends with an elastic band to prepare for dipping in hot water. I thought that because I had lost the first roll that the hair was not going to be enough because when I was looking on Amazon it said that 5 packs is enough for one head of hair. Turns out it was way more than I needed. I would say I approximately used 2.5 rolls of the Brazilian wool. And once I was done with all the rolls this is what I ended up with. So I ended up with about 20 of these chunky twists and it looks a little but it's a lot. And to dip the Brazilian wool in hot water. I just added a little bit of conditioner to a container and then followed that with extremely hot water. The Brazilian wood is made of acrylic fiber so once you dip it in hot water it holds the curl. Once it was in the hot water, I just used a comb to make sure that all the strands are thoroughly dipped and then I let it sit for a few minutes before taking it out. While taking it out, I just let the hot water drip off and then transferred it to a towel, patted it dry and then took it outside to make sure that all the strands are completely dry before I start doing the hair. I did my cornrows offline while the Brazilian wool was drying. The braiding pattern is very simple, some small cornrows in the front and then in the back I just looped the ends of my hair into the new cornrows and then at the top I crisscrossed the front cornrows to the back so I can create a closure for the parting that I was going to make later on. 
and once the wool was dry i just carefully separated the twists so i can find those individual parts that i had pointed out before i twisted them and i'm so glad i did not insist on brushing the wool out because this made things so much easier it was literally just falling apart once i had the twist taken out and so i ended up using those individual parted strands to make the crochet i'm not particularly sure why i was not able to brush out this particular brand of brazilian wool as i had seen in the video probably it might be a difference in the quality because i know there are different uh, companies that produce this product so maybe what I got was not similar to what the person had in the video. And this also foreshadowed to me the care that I needed to take of this hair once it was on my head because tangling is a definite risk. So what I did was I ended up using a lot of mousse and olive oil spray that olive oil sheen spray just to make sure that it doesn't get tangled and you can see what i mean when i say those strands just came apart so easily i started in the back of my head for this last cornrow i wanted to make sure that the knots end up on the inner side of the cornrow not the outer side so that's why i'm inserting the crochet from the inner side and then once i took the loop to the other side i took only one strand of the hair and then formed that into a knot while the other side remained loose and this just helped helps to prevent the knots from showing on the outside. Now this is the type of hairstyle that looks better the older it gets because your roots grow in so it becomes harder to see the base of the crochet. This technique I only use in the cornrows in the nape of my head and on the sides but for the rest of the cornrows in the middle I just use the regular knotting technique because they are going to be hidden so I don't worry about the knots being seen. So as I mentioned I just filled out the rest of the back of my head using the regular crochet method and then coming to the front I used the same technique that I used in the nape of my neck on these cornrows on the side and this technique also I will be using it where there are parts just to hide the knots in between the parts. For the front I had to be more careful with the spacing just to avoid any unnecessary gaps. So in the front I was trying to insert the crochet into the cornrows much more closer together than I was doing in the rest of my head. One thing I forgot to do with the first cornrows is I was supposed to run one piece of the hair from the front of the cornrow. So this technique is supposed to make the hairline look fuller. Well, if you have an actual hairline, if you have an actual hairline, it also helps to make the hairline look fuller. So you just take one strand of hair and then loop it several times through the cornrow. And then in the last step, you're supposed to insert the crochet from the very front of the cornrow and then pull it out from the front. I'll do this for the rest of the cornrows all through the hairline. For me, this helps to reduce the visibility of the parting of the cornrows because it shows obviously that it's crochet, but when you pull it out from the front it creates a bit of volume so the visibility is quite less just remember not to do the cornrows too tight because it would really hurt trying to insert that crochet when your cornrows are flat to your scalp so make sure that your cornrows are quite loose for me because i'm braiding my own hair i can never do it quite tight enough <laughs>
Coming up to the last two cornrows in the very front, I just wanted to show what I was talking about in terms of the crochet goes in on the side of the cornrow where you want the knot to be and since I want the part in the middle, I'm inserting the crochet from the other side and then on the other cornrow which is on the opposite side, the crochet will be inserted the opposite way and that helps to keep the knots hidden. And that's it for this crochet hairstyle. I ended up with way more volume than I expected and I also had a lot of the chunky twists left over. But let me know if you try this hairstyle. If, if you used Brazilian wool before, how was your experience with it? And let me know if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't and I will see you on the next one. I'm a magic guy, I go just para, I'm a magic guy, I go just it, follow my lead, I'm a human body,